knocks three times on the door of flat 17 and takes a precautionary step backward. Piss off, you bitch, comes a roar from inside. I'm busy. Bunny leans close to the door and says, Dad, it's me, Bunny. Bunny hears a terrible hacking from within. There is a clacking sound and a scrape of furniture. A chain of raw expletives and the door opens and Bunny Munro the first stands in the doorway, small and bent, dressed in a brown argyle jumper with snowflakes and a white polar bear on the front, a nicotine coloured shirt and a mangled pair of brown cordial slippers. The zipper bumps open in his trousers and faded blue tattoos peek from his sleeves of his jumper at the open neck of his shirt. The skin on his face is as grey as pop newspaper, and the gums of his dentures are stained on floor. <laughs> a sullage of colourless hair spills down the back of his egg-shaped skull like chicken. He brings with him an overpowering stench of stale urine and medicinal oil. In one hand he holds a heavy pleated walking stick, and in the other a grimly unpleasant handkerchief. He looks at Bunny and clacks his dentures. Like I said, piss off. And slams the door in Bunny's face. Oh man, says Bunny. <laughs> putting the key in the door and turning. Just don't say anything, he says to Bunny Jr. right beside his man. Together they enter the room. The bedsit is small and unventilated and full with a layer of stale cigarette smoke. The storm hammers at the windows behind lace curtains yellow with age, and in a tiny kitchen to the side, a kettle shakes. The old man has sat himself in a sole leather armchair in front of him, his walking stick resting across his knees. Behind him, a mahogany standard lamp with a tasseled shade casts a fierce light on the back of the old man's leg. <laughs> on the TV, a pornographic video involving a teenage girl and a black rubber builder plays out in colour-saturated reds and greens. The old man pushes his gnarled fist into the lap of his rancid grey trousers, claws in his crunch and proclaims that the fucking thing doesn't work. The old man looks up from his chair and rubs his chair and out of one shrewd eye he scrutinizes Bunny's unfortunate dog. He sucks air through his psychedelic dentures, points at Bunny's red rosette nose and says, How did you get that? Raping an old lady. Bunny touches Mrs. Brooks' wings in his jacket pocket of the twinge of shame or something says, What you mean is it must be the He walks into the kitchen and turns the screen. Says the old man, all I need is to get my fucking rocks off. And he scrabbles at the flies of his trousers again. Bunny crosses the room and hits the switch on the TV. Perhaps we can turn that off, Dad. He says, Give us a fag, then, snorts the old man. Wipes the phone in the corner of his mouth. That fucking bitch stole it. Bunny crosses the room and hands his father his pack of Lambert and Butlers, and the old man sticks one between his lips and puts the pack in the top pocket of his shirt. Bunny lights his father's cigarette and a Sutherland at the table by the window. Inside it, on a perch, threaded with ivy, sits a tiny mechanical bird with red and blue wings. Bunny Junior runs his fingers across the gilded eyes of the cage. And the little automator rocks on its perch. Come on, Dad, let's make you a nice cup of tea. Is it? I don't want a nice cup of tea. Stands the old man and drags on his cigarette, then presses his handkerchief to his mouth and embarks on a seat of endless bout of coughing that bends his old body double and brings dark yellow tears to his eyes. Are you all right, Dad? says Buddy. Eighty fucking years old, he lung cancer, he said, and spit something unspeakable into his handkerchief. Yeah, I'm just fucking great. Is there anything I can do to you? You must be fucking joking. Buddy Junior turns the gold key in the front of the birdcage. The automator jumps to life 
and sings a song in a series of short, sweet notes. It's beat, cracked, and shut. It's red and blue, red and blue. Business then, madam. 
I'd have the Sheraton escritoire of the old bitch for a song. Yes, I love a bit of serpentine, and there would not be a straight line on it. Bunny Senior makes gentle curves.